Recently, the Tupolev Tu-22M backfire bomber of the Russian Air Force VKS made an emergency landing at Polkovo Civil Airport. The Tupolev Tu-22M backfire bomber, which is among Russia's most strategic military air platforms, is based in St. Petersburg Polkovo Airport made an emergency landing. Although it was announced that the 222 m 3 had made an emergency landing at Polkovo due to adverse weather conditions, no further details were given regarding the landing. According to Tolga Ozbek News, KH-22 AS-4 Kitchen Long Range Cruise Missiles were also on the 222 m which landed at Polkovo Airport. The plane is said to have taken part in the operation organized by Russia in Ukraine. Naval Aviation Forces have about 82 22M, mostly M3 models. Naval Aviation Forces also have 12 M3s converted as 222MR reconnaissance aircraft. In 2011, the 222 M3 from all naval aviation was transferred to the Russian Air Force. On the other hand, a photo has appeared in open access, showing that the Kazan Aviation Plant in the Russian Federation has produced another copy of the modernized 222 M3 M bomber, and it is ready to be handed over to the customer. It seems that this will be only the second aircraft of this type in the ranks of the so-called Russian Aerospace Forces, because the first and so far the only mention of the transfer of the 222M3M bomber to the Russian military dates back to 2018. But the most important detail in this story lies literally above the nose. According to Russia, in a niche above the nose of this 222M3M aircraft, there is a retractable probe for refueling in the air. The Russians do not say whether the first serial bomber of this modernization has such a probe and rogue system. But they claim that the integration of the aerial refueling system will supposedly increase the combat radius of the 222M3M from a range of 1,850 to 2,400 km to almost 8,000 km. The aerial refueling system was installed on Soviet Tu-22M2 bombers and was dismantled as part of the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty between the USSR and the USA. For the first time, the Russians announced a plan to integrate a probe and rogue system for aerial refueling of the Tu-22M3M in June 2019. But there are no publicly available images showing the refueling process of this aircraft from the L-78 refueling aircraft in flight. However, the question of the combat characteristics of the Russian Tu-22M3M and the level of its threat directly to Ukraine depends not only on the indicator of the combat radius but also on the range of weapons that such an aircraft can use. For example, the Russians created the Tu-22M3M primarily for the use of the KH-32 supersonic cruise missile, which is, in fact, a modified version of the KH-22 missile. According to the Russians themselves, the KH-32 compared to its predecessor has a more advanced liquid engine, a reduced warhead, and a radar homing head, which in total gives supposedly improved accuracy and an increased maximum flight range of up to 1,000 km. But the nuance here is not only that during the entire time of the full-scale war, the Russians used KH-32 missiles in an extremely small number of episodes that do not show the real characteristics of this missile. According to Defense Express, for the first time, and only time, the occupiers used this cruise missile for the attack on Kramatorsk in May 2022, and British intelligence believes that it was the KH-32 missile that the Russians attacked the Amster shopping center in Kremenkug on June 27 of last year.
To produce the new KH-32, the Russians need the old KH-22, and the enemy has an estimated 150 such missiles left. The Russians were going to integrate on the 222M3M, also one of the promising subsonic cruise missiles, which in theory still exists only on paper, but everything may not be so simple here. In December 2017, it became known that the Russian military industrial complex is conducting work on the KH-50 Orion cruise missile, which was also known under the designation Izdali 715. The work was a continuation of KH South Dakota, medium range, project, which was suspended in the 1990s. The Russians claimed that their KH-50 missile would have a launch range of up to 1,500 kilometers, a hollow length of 6 meters, and a takeoff weight of 1,600 kilograms. On the renderings of the time, the KH-50 looked like a reduced copy of the X-101 missile, but at the same time, the Russians compared their KH-50 Orion cruise missiles also with the X-59 Mk-2, although it would seem that these two products have two different niche to be applied in. Russia even managed to state that 1222M3M bomber will be able to take on board up to 6 KH-50 missiles in the bomb bay and up to 2 missiles on the external pylons. In addition, it was also claimed that the procurement of such cruise missiles is provided for by the Russia's state armaments program for 2018-2027. Everything looked so that the Russians would not have brought this project to the stage of incarnation in metal, if not for one, but. In February 2023, the Russians lighted up a cruise missile under the index Izdali 720, the characteristics of which are still unknown. Analysts of the International Institute for Strategic Studies IAS, derived the genesis of product 720 from the KH-69 missile. But it should not be ruled out that this is the result of the mutation of the KH-50 project missile. Special attention should be paid to such Izdali S, because the so-called Russian Aerospace Forces have already used a rocket bomb, under the index Gram E1, on the basis of the KH-38 missile at least once for strikes on Ukraine, although there were very few reliable data on the hybrid, 